Hello and welcome back to another video. This is Baseball 2020 on the Sega Mega Drive. This is obviously a Neo Geo conversion. And a full disclaimer here, I'm absolutely useless at baseball games. But I always wanted this for the Neo Geo. And I sort of decided that I'd just get the Mega Drive version because it was relatively cheap in comparison. And I have to say, it's a pretty authentic experience compared to the Neo Geo original. It's certainly a little lacklustre in comparison, but considering the hardware that we're talking about here, it's very well done. So you'll probably see in that quite a lot of me getting shot out. I seem to have this thing with SNK baseball games where I just don't seem to be able to progress very well. So I did used to be quite a fan actually of baseball games, especially on the Mega Drive. I used to play a lot of, I believe it was RBI Baseball. It seemed quite cool at the time, but less so now I guess. Obviously this has got the SNK slant on it, somewhere situated in between Baseball Stars 1 and 2. And I think the people who've done the Mega Drive conversion, I know it's published by Electronic Arts, I'm not entirely sure exactly who the developer was, but I think they did a pretty good job. So now I'm pitching. They've called me on the ball. Oh, we've got a strike. Three strikes, you're out. Oh no. One more ball and he runs. Three, so hopefully we've got a field are going to catch that. Have we got anyone close by? Yes! I thought he caught that personally. Felt like I'd been done over there. Oh well, I'll let it go this time around. Go on, you're out. Caught by the bloody pitcher there. Nice. Oh no. Mm. I don't know, I'm going to have to see a replay of that. I'm pretty sure that was a strike. It's a home run. I once hit home run in a basketball game. Couldn't quite believe my luck. Not something that happens very often. Go on, there's no fielder. This is the frustrating part I find of SNK bas baseball games. I mean, it said basketball, but I meant baseball. Is the actual fielding. It was a thing that put me off actually, baseball stars professional on the Neo Geo AES. As much as I tried, I just found it very frustrating trying to field effectively. Go on, that might looks like I might have actually bloody got it to the right one. Go on, there's two people at that base. Someone's going to fall here. We're all out of there. Oh, it almost looked like I knew what I was doing then. I can assure you I did not. Now this is the unfortunate part of owning the Japanese Mega Drive versions of the Electronic Arts titles and that is obviously the language barrier. Would thoroughly recommend just getting the European releases because they will play perfectly fine at 60Hz or Genesis mode if you like. That's a surefire out outage. So you can power up how do you do that? Right, okay. So we've got a team power up option here. Unfortunately, as I say, it's I've got two, four, three hitting armor. I can just about afford that. Not sure what it does, but that looks like a hell of a shot. Is that a home run? It should have bloody been. Go on, go again, go again, go again. Go on. Go on. No, I felt for sure I was safe then. Hell of a shot though. Again, unfortunately a foul ball. That's a nice strike, that's a nice strike. Just going to go for the single run this time. Not going to chance it. As you can possibly see, there was actually a landmine there. The longer you play, 
and more of those mines appear. Oh, again. Perhaps that power up's worked out well. Perhaps I should have played this game more often. I've probably owned it for about four or five years. I've briefly played it at best on a number of occasions. It kind of actually made me glad that I didn't buy the AES version, although the way prices have gone, it would have been beneficial for me to have done that. I remember a time when on eBay I was sorting out a deal with a guy in Japan for Baseball 2020 and Frash Rally, and the price was something like £85, and I was umming and ahhing about it. You couldn't probably, you'd struggle to buy either title nowadays for that kind of price. And Frash Rally is one that's always interested me in the way that Last Resort's always interested me. I played so much of it via emulation on my PSP. Just really a big fan. I know it's simplistic but I do like the racing games. Oh you're going out my friend. You're going out. I'm getting I'm getting a grip of this now. I feel like I feel like things are going my way. Okay, that was a bad shot. Oh, go on straight to someone. That looks like somebody's ball. Go on, my son. Go on. Oh, you're out. You're out all day long. That's right. So I'm seriously not getting the thrashing that I have received previously. It, it Much like baseball stars professional, you think you're doing well. You get to like the fifth you know, round or whatever it's called. And uh, all of a sudden, the computer annihilates. See, that was a bad place to hit the ball. So it looks like it was only one player that actually got powered up. And it looks like it's this one here that's flashing an awful lot. Unfortunately, hitting a lot of foul balls, but that one looks like you may well get through. Still flashing even when on the field. So it would be nice to get a run. That's not looking good. That's a double out. A nice inclusion of the little cutscene there, which, as I, as I said right at the start, you know, they've done a really good job as far as converting this game has gone. You know, they've tried their best to implement all of the features and little cutscenes and things. As a Neo Geo, so crackers is what they're calling them. Landmines is what I refer to them as. Oh, you're out. So I've never really seen many videos of this in action actually on YouTube. I think the only person I've ever seen play it was Ninja Bell, Stu. He picked it up and made a gameplay video. I seem to remember he quite enjoyed it. Is anyone going to catch this ball or? Yep, we're out of there. So I'll probably just go for this go around in terms of the batter and then call it a day. It looks like we're, like we're nearly at the 10 minute mark. Not sure how much more baseball 2020 you would want to watch. Oh, I'm a bit of a glutton for punishment, so I'm just going to keep going until I actually get a bloody home run, or, or at least just a run. You know, would be enough for me. Looking for a big bat here. Is it it? But unfortunately, that's not a good look. Also, the crowd in the in the uh, Mega Drive version. Not quite as impressive. Oh no. Oof. Hopefully got one through. Okay. Just need that, really need that home run. Oh, and they're upgrading. Can I do that? Hold on. Not, not doing a thing. Yeah, okay. Pinch hitter. Sorry, you don't know which bloody one. I'm doing but I've done someone it's not this guy unfortunately oh, that is rubbish really bad so I suppose still in with a chance of a home run this isn't a flashing person though oh 
Well, could both get round with that. Okay. We'll take it. We'll take it. Oh, a bit late on the swing there. Oh, fancy bowling. Now he's going to go for some ball that's going to go right near me. Oh, it was a strike. I didn't even see that. The perils of playing baseball and drinking alcohol. So I think I'll leave it there. But what I will say is, if you're desperate to play baseball 2020 and you've not got Neo Geo AS, you probably find some enjoyment with the Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis version. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, I'll upload some more videos soon.